here is a look at the consignment items from the consignment haul that I did earlier in the week. I think that was on Tuesday. So I counted and from the haul, I'm bringing in 33 items. I do have some other stuff. So if you don't recognize some of this, I do have some extra stuff to bring in. But from the consignment you guys saw, I have 33. Like here's that loft vest and here's like that J. Crew and Nasty Gal. So I will update you guys with how many they take of the 33. But unfortunately, I won't be able to tell you guys how much money I make because like I said, it's a regular consignment store where you get paid when it sells. But yeah, I will still don't know how much they take so wish me luck so they are done going through my stuff in general i almost have nothing left but i think i saw that from the 33 from the stuff you guys saw i have one thing left so that's a success <laughs> <laughs> hello everyone well welcome to what we're gonna do. yes and oh. if you're wondering why you just saw ryan crying it's because we just found out that lily pulitzer likes to eat ox tongue we found a lily pulitzer book in the bins and she's weird <laughs> let me tell I, you what we're just gonna start on a side note i found this lily it's pulitzer <laughs> book it's like holiday cookbook and party book in the bins and i am gonna sell it there's a page in here and it's literally dedicated to lily's birthday as if that's like a holiday which that's narcissistic and it's a quote from lily and it says for my birthday all i want to eat is an ox tongue but no one else will eat it so i can't put it on the menu ew anyways Girl, don't be doing that <laughs> nasty stuff <laughs> yeah. anyways anyway. welcome to what sold saturday i hope everyone had a great week and a less stressful one than ours if you have noticed a very like discombobulated <sighs> upload schedule a lot of technical difficulties if you've noticed us not being on instagram at all or if you notice that what maybe we don't have like a ton of sales. We have had one of the most stressful weeks of our entire lives. This week has literally been one of those ones where it's like every day has felt like a million years. Yes, and we are gonna be cryptic about it. We're not gonna specifically tell you what's happening in our personal lives, but it's, it's not been bad. a stressful one. We didn't like lose anyone or anything. No, nobody died. Nobody's passed, but- Nothing burned down. But a lot of things are happening. So if we seem, I still have my bed head, like I didn't. I'm in one of my I pajama t-shirts, which is very conveniently the brown <laughs> M&M, one of my other favorite feminist icons. I'm sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come. Yeah, but we do have some sales to talk to you guys Ugh. about today. But of course, before we jump into the sales, we do have to give the Valentine closet highlight, da -da -da -da. Valentine shout out. We don't have like an official- We need a name. We talked about this. Yeah. What are we gonna call it? We need like a name for it. It needs to it. start with like V, like the Valentine Ugh. something highlight. I don't know. Okay. Today's goes to someone that we actually have met before in person. Yes, we absolutely have. And that oh my is, God, so sweet. that is Jessica. So Jessica. her username is flight attendant flip and it's actually spelled F-L-Y-T-A-T-E-N-D-N-T F L I P, which I will have linked below. Yes. Everyone pop into our closet and say hello. Go say hi. Go do a little a browsing. Light. But we have met Jessica and she actually flew in for like a weekend last year and we saw her at the bins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I told her that she should go to the pumpkin walk because it was right before Halloween. Yes. And she did. And she loved oh it. God, so that's, that's amazing. amazing. She also had her daughter, I believe. Yeah. And they went together. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, awesome. So cute. So thank you, Jessica, for being a Valentine. We so appreciate it. Also, before we jump into it, let's see what happened this week your video went up late <laughs> so it that, was a technical difficulty that i do was, apologize that was like actually a technical difficulty we had it fully <laughs> uploaded and then all of a sudden i was like why does this say that it's only 17 minutes Oops. long it was supposed to be 42 and so i looked and it was like it just cut off and then i went to iMovie and it was just cut off i don't know what happened but i got it figured out it just went up like sorry 12 hours late whatever and then tuesday it was my consignment haul which i think you guys just saw a clip in the beginning of how much success i had with that we're filming it's very confusing we're filming this before that happens yes but you guys should have an update in your minds right now of like how many items they took from me for the consignment but that was fun i liked talking consignment both of us like to consign it's a very easy way to make like a very healthy amount of yeah. money if you need it like quickly i know that like there's probably more value in some of the things and like a lot of the stuff we pick up i feel like we could sell ourselves because it's like decent mall it's brand just pieces priority though but you know? to deal with like that quantity and the small amount of money that we would even make selling it ourselves yeah. it's just not worth it but and that's the kind of stuff that we get like a lot of the time because it's never like not 
not in the bins. Like the no. high end expensive stuff is the stuff that's like usually not there. So it's easier to kind of just like yeah. move yeah. some of that stuff out. Anyways, I guess we will <sighs> hop into the sales for the week. And yeah. I do have three Mercari that I would like to share with you guys and one best stare sale. I have Posh and Depop, but I didn't count how many on either. But I it's all apologize. intertwined. Yes. So he'll talk about it throughout the week. So starting with my Mercari sales, I just thought this was really, really fitting for obviously like the current season. I sold this mm -hmm. vintage 1968 Blow Mold Santa Christmas Small Light and it sold for $29 and the buyer paid shipping. Very fitting. Like I said, it was from 1968. It was almost as old as Debbie. Not That's to, as not old as Debbie. my mother, <laughs> Janet. So <laughs> was born I, in 1968. I also have been selling a bunch of little Hallmark ornaments on <gasps> Mercari lately oh, too. I just didn't want to talk so about all those. Cute. Yeah, at the turnstile, the consignment store I brought all that close to, they had this little pre-lit Christmas tree. It was like a little desktop Christmas tree. And it was, it was adorable. And it was coded in vintage keepsake micro There's Hallmark. probably at le almost 100 of them. There was, I think I counted it was like 92 There's or something so like that. Many. And a lot were Disney. There was like Wizard of Oz. And so I've been selling those. That was interesting. It was $14. They had a little for Barbie the, one. For and the it was tree like, and all the ornaments, was $14. It was I was crazy. like, this is not something I really like like to sell, but how could, like, that's such a good deal. Anyways, another tantrum. So back to Mercari. My next sale was this Ralph Lauren Lambswool Academia Fall Long Skirt. This was really nice. It was doing well everywhere mm. on eBay, on Posh. This was actually Loren, Ralph Lauren. And honestly, with some of the like older stuff or some of the like Aztec type stuff, it doesn't yeah. really matter what label's in it. No. If it's like a good material, like this was 100% lamb's wool. That's, people are going to seek it out for the material, I think more yeah. than like the brand. And like all of his lines are expensive. Yeah, it's there not aren't cheap any no matter where you buy it. No, like, even Loren, Ralph Loren can be really expensive. Polo can be super expensive. Like they're mm -hmm. all expensive. Polo is ridiculously expensive. It is. Oh my God. <laughs> and then next and last in Mercari for the week was this Vince Long Line Linen Blend Duster Cardigan. And that sold for $68 on Mercari. Damn. And again, the buyer paid shipping. So kind of, again, demonstrating that, like, who knows what does good on Mercari. Mercari said it time and time again. She's the absolute wild west <laughs> Absolutely. of the reselling. So on to Vestaire. And it's been fun to have some Vestaire sales to share with you guys. Like I said, last time I talked about Vestaire, it actually is pretty easy to cross post on. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to. Just put your bougie stuff there if you have some. Yes. I sold this pair of mulberry leather ankle boots and these were close to like new condition. They might have had like a scuff or two, but the bottom looked like it had never like touched the they floor. They smelled so good. Yes. The leather was just, oh. These sold good. for $360. $60. And I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but I have paid closer attention and Vester does not take 20%. It's a little bit less. Because I'm, nice. I'm getting mm -hmm. around like 306 or 305 for this. So that's only a little over 10%. So that's, that's great. Then you Compared can take to, like, lower the posh feed, too. it's 20%. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we will move on to posh. Into the rest of the week. And Depop. Depop. <gasps> This is the My week best friend, of the 3rd through the 9th. And like I said, I don't have like tons. You don't have a ton for no, one I don't. particular. But like, no, I don't have hardly any posh, but my Depop. Depop dog? Me and that Depop man. <laughs> On the 3rd, I had five, 6. I had 5. And that was 2 Depop. Or no, I lied. 2 Poshmark, 3 Depop. My first sale was this Madewell 2021 Color Block Wool Blend Sweater, and this sold for 30 and I get 24 and I would have liked more, and I probably could have got more, but... Sales a sale, Money's you know, money. yeah. when it's a slow week. <laughs> then I sold this pair of Lululemon Wide Leg Flare Black Wonder Unders. Oh, Lord. And these sold for $30, and I get 24 They were a size 12, which I feel like is quite rare with Lulu. Mm -hmm. And also, if you find any of the, like, flared Lulu styles, oh those are so in right so now. So good. Even they Athleta, so good. old Athleta, if it's, like, flared or boot cut or, like, wider leg, mm -hmm. does so so, so good. So then I sold this. This is like a Ryan sale. I sold this misguided ruffle trim floral print wrap dress for 15 and I get 932. That is a very mean. The sale. only reason I listed it is because it looked kind of like Dior, like to toi? I, in my hall, I literally was like that T print that I can never figure toi. out how to say. <laughs> yes. So that's why I listed it. Then I tried to consign it. They didn't take it because it's a junior brand. So then I marked it all the way down to 15 and it sold. And somebody bought it. 932 for me. Then I sold this pair of Athleta Wander Nylon Split Ankle Pants. They sold for 39 and I get 3120. 
Love me some FYI. I would literally never be able to say that much. <laughs> and then for my own personal collection, I sold this Bonobos Moth Graphic oh. Balkal Butterfly Sweatshirt. That was so cute. And, and I would have taken that. And it sold for $50 and I get $40. Last year, I discovered right around Christmas that Bonobos <sighs> makes the best men's sweaters and sweatshirts. Yes, they do. Like, it's picture mod cloth, but, but for like, men. But for men's stuff, it's a love so i ordered this yeti sweater which i would never get rid of i the love yeti that. sweater is an icon. i should wear She's that next one of this one of the videos this week whether it be like next what's on saturday or something i'm gonna wear that and then i also ordered this because i think i ordered both because i needed to get like free shipping but this one i didn't end up wearing that much so sold it for 50 and i get 40 and honestly that's probably close to what i paid for i it. love that then I sold this Marameco striped vintage long sleeve maxi dress. It sold for 40 and I get 32. That was a great Vince find like mm -hmm. last week, I think. Okay, so my first on the third for Poshmark was this pair of Madewell Women's The Scruff Curly the scruff. Sherpa Sandals. These kind of gave me the ick a little bit because they were called The Scruff and it was like a curly, like kind of matted Sherpa. <laughs> it was my favorite. Um, sold for $22 and I make $14.92. Then, so this was really funny. Jack gave me this like dead stock vintage forever 21 a little like y2k bolero jacket where it was like a cat as the logo and it said xxi it was like <laughs> 2007 is probably when this was in the mall and this woman like hit me with a low ball and then was like could you ship it next day and i was like if you buy it right now full price i will ship it next day and she absolutely did <laughs> which is hysterical so this thing sold for 24 dollars and i make 1920 see and i could never sell that so you can't i think sell, i got lucky you can't sell the athletic i think i got I lucky sell that. that it's like literally the yin and yang it right was absolutely here. insane so then for my first on depop i sold this vintage 1980s purple cat graphic sweatshirt these always do so good thank you for giving this <laughs> that way so this sold for 35 i think with shipping so i make 38 69 after everything is said and done. Your which is, deep up would be nothing without me. That's very true. That is very true. <laughs> then I saw this pair of Urban Outfitters silver sparkle high-waisted like bootcut pants. After fees and stuff, I make 3011, which is super nice. Then I saw this Pendleton woven embroidered dad hat. This was such a good bins find and I was like low-key kind of tempted to keep it myself. And that could probably do good anywhere. Yeah, it had a ton of attention on Poshmark. It was doing really good on Depop. Um, I think it sold for 30 and then after fees, I get twenty seven thirty eight, hmm. which is super nice. So then on the fourth, I had two. I only had one on my, both platforms. Wow. I know. My first sale went to Emma. Now, I don't know if Emma watches. Emma. Because she, Emma, didn't, Emma didn't say anything. <laughs> but I've, like, seen her profile picture before. And I just, like, I think Emma does watch. Emma's been so Emma, Emma's been here before. If you're listening, hello. <laughs> she Emma, bought if the, you're there. <laughs> she bought the Abercrombie & Fitch soft A&F heathered sweatpants that were just, like, a regular soft pair of sweatpants. sweatpants. But they retail for $80, Abercrombie which is expensive. crazy. So I actually recently picked up another soft A&F thing from them just to try it out because these actually were doing really good besides emma like popping over and grabbing them they had like four legs or something mm. sold for 30 to emma emma and i get 24 thank you emma then my last one on the fourth was this victoria's secret plunge it has the weirdest name like there's this weird name to this bra style and i'm not even gonna try to say it but people who know bras might know it starts with like it's a soutien soutien georgeois or i uh, Huh? Oh, it's padded and it's leopard. Sold for 26, I get 18, 12. I don't pick up bras much, but something about this one, it just seemed like really good shape. I'll and pick I was them like, up you if know I what? see them in good sure. Okay, so my one and only on the fourth was this vintage 80s plus size black short sleeve little floral dress. Sold for $28, I make 22, 40. Then on the fifth, I had, I only had one. I didn't have any. Thing. What day was this? Must have been a busy day. So on the fifth, I sold this pair of Athleta Elation High Rise Shimmery Tights, and these sold for forty, and I get twenty nine thirty two. Dang! So we got some good Athleta sales rolling in this week. Then on the sixth, I had two. I had three. One Poshmark, two Depop. Kicking it off with another Aretha Athleta. Oh lord! And I have is... not worn that shirt in forever. <laughs> I, I need. To. I know. I it's like ever my... since we've turned it into a meme, you're like. I'm you afraid to bring Aretha out of the closet because poor I'll get Aretha. shamed. Poor Aretha. Oh, I know. Poor girl. I sold this pair of Athleta Midtown Ankle Crop Jogger Pants. They sold for 31 and I get 22 12 And my other one on the 6th was this Victor Glamoud Target Striped Oversized Sweater. So this was a Target collaboration. I think I got it like only like a month ago. That was cute. It was and I do fun. think it was mm -hmm. in a thrift with us. And I was like, yes, was. the comps looked good. Why wouldn't I get it then? Like the sold comps were yeah, good. So it was 
was hard crazy. to argue with that. So I got it, and it did sell for thirty, and I get twenty four, which for something that was at Target, that's not like current popular. Yeah, super that's good. pretty good. My first on the sixth for. Poshmark was this Coach Carrier Burgundy Python trimmed a little satchel. This thing is so cute. It has these like wings on it. It's kind of like Coach does um, the Celine Phantom. Mm, That's the bag that I'm thinking I of. Very that, love which is like the Celine if I ever Phantom. get the opportunity to just like hold one, I might, is, I might just take it. That is one of the most like I might just beautiful luxury bags that has ever been made. They are stunning. Um, sold for $80 and I make 64 Then on Beepop, I had two sales. The first one, I loved these shoes. Uh, it was this pair of Gap Y2K red suede woven, woven, wooden clogs. And they, it was like real suede. They were so nice. Like for Gap back in the day, they sold for 35 plus I think like $12 shipping. And so I make 35 25 after fees. I think Fashion File just did a post yesterday of a whole video talking about how clogs are like really in right now. I so. have said it and I'll say it again. I want a pair of clogs. I would love a pair of clogs. I haven't said it, but I'll make it clear. I don't want a pair of clogs. I would love a pair. I think it'd be so fun to like clippity clop my way down like school hallways. Sounded like a horse. And a pair of wooden shoes. You would have to wear a size men's 10 clogs. Those that's would be what I'm huge. trying to get, though. <laughs> It'd be like, for everybody that's seen Monty Python, with the cum. <laughs> that's exactly what I would be. Oh, that would be in my big blue coat and a pair of clogs. I'm getting too many ideas. You sound like a crazy <laughs> I'm getting too many good ideas. Okay, and then my last on Depop for the sixth was this vintage Y2K striped scrunch blouse. This sold... Lickety splits after I listed it for $28, I think, and I make $24.02 after fees. On the 7th, I had one. I had one on Poshmark and one, two on Depop as well. But my one is nothing to shake a stick at. This is definitely my best sell week, even compared to the best day. Oh. Sell. <laughs> so this is what carried my week. If I hadn't had this sale, I would not have made much money this week. I sold this pair of Gucci Jordan Star B embroidered horse bit loafers. These were beautiful. Ending. At one point, I was actually almost going to buy a black pair of these for myself. Someone had them on Posh for like 200 or something. I that have been eyeing a, a couple deal. pairs of Gucci loafers. They are the mm -hmm. most beautiful shoes. Anyways, I sold these ones for... Brrr, five hundred and seventy five dollars see but like that doesn't happen to regular people i had these listed at six hundred and eighty five i think because like they're, they're not just like the horse bit loafer which already is like a fan favorite mm -hmm. but like they had the extra bouginess of like all the embroideries i just thought they yeah. were beautiful and so i get 460 and like of course these were doing good everywhere they're beautiful like, shoes on vestera oh. they were doing good on ebay they were doing good so bye they're Gucci beautiful. Shoes. They're perfect. I love them. Okay, my first... Off to Austin, Texas with you. That's very Texas. Texas. It <laughs> won't get dirty in, like, muddy snow Yeah, I was going to say, they'll be, like, yeah. clean. My first on Poshmark for the 7th was something that's been hanging around since last year. I hanging. came in... They do hang, even though nobody knows what we're talking about yet because you haven't even said it yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I got this, like, bundle of Anthropology, like, knobs and drawer pulls and Christmas ornaments from just, like, some random consignment store last year. And I still have one left. It was this new tag Anthropology S, like, brass, like, mirrored Christmas ornament. It has a name, but, like, they didn't get cut off in the title. Sold for $15, and I make 12 It was cute, though. Then on Depop, I think you gave these to me, actually. It was this Urban Outfitters black, uh, like, not out from under. Um, Academia, little dress pants. They sold for, I think, 24 and I make twenty one sixty after fees. Then I sold this vintage 80s knit. This was actually was so, cute. so cute. It was like a little short sleeve sweater. Well, you can see that had like a little gardening motif on it. Adorable. Granny core little sweater. Sold for $35 minus fees. I make a thirty one fifty. Is granny core still popular? Or is that I, more of a like fall one? I tend to do like granny core and like coastal. Mm -hmm. Grandma kind of in the same vibe, so I think like because like if I, I know, do granny core, I'll always put it as like coastal because I think those people are. I know dark like the same thing. like simmers. On the eighth, I had two. I had two depop. My first sale was this Beyond Yoga Space Dye Lift Your Sports Bra. <laughs> it's some stupid athletic some, name. Check some things missing there. <laughs> Lift your sports bra. Sold for thirty five dollars. <laughs> For a sports That doesn't bra. make any sense. And I get 28, which is crazy that is because crazy that when I've had Beyond Yoga bra. in the past, it does horrible. Like, awful. This must have been but one this of the, like, great. pieces people actually so, like. So, I don't know if sports bras just do, like, good. I'm actually going to try a Fabletic sports bra soon that I just found, like, this past week. Because, hmm. I don't know, sports bras might be, like, their own thing. Uh, sold for... 
35, like I said, and I get 28. That's pretty good. And then I sold the 360 cashmere ribbed knit v-neck jumper. Sold, a jumper. Sold for $30, I get 24. <laughs> Emma, where's your jumper? <laughs> but if I sent it to the real real, I'd probably get six. Yeah, so. they priced it at 50 and it would and get like, it 20% was, off. it was cashmere and it was so nice. So. It's a beautiful sweater. Okay, my two on Depop. First one, I actually like was low-key really upset these pants didn't fit me because I thought they were super cute. Was this pair of vintage 1970s bleached bleached machinist pa machinist pants. I'm forgetting my teas today. But they sold for, I want to say 28 or 29 and I will make 25.75 after fees. Then, oh, this was such a good sweater. It was so cute. Oh, I it was, did throw you this Yes, one. you gave this to me. Yeah, it was this vintage one. Abercrombie and Fitch. So I don't know when they decided to do this, but like for a hot minute, Abercrombie did everything with like Shetland wool, which is crazy expensive, like I Irish, Scottish, Northern European, like wool. And this is one of them. And every time I find one, they sell for good money and they sell very fast. This one sold for, I think, 38 plus $10 shipping because it's like, it's heavy because the wool is like thick. Um, and I make thirty five oh nine. Well, thanks what for the thirty five bucks. Like a, like a Nordic. It was like a little um Fair Isle like little quarter zip, mm. full yeah, zip. That like was... say Dale of Norway. Mm -hmm. Abercrombie does Dale of Norway. And it was definitely very one of those things where it's like that would never be out of style. No, like oh. you could find that any year and it'd be. Yeah, and they're like a cute little like fall yeah. winter sweater. Then on the ninth, I had four. I had one on Poshmark and one on Depop. So my first sale was this Lovers and Friends 2022 Distressed Open Shoulder Sweater. So it wasn't cold shoulder because it was only one shoulder that was cold. So you're warm. Oh, was that the distressed one that had the like... That was like the, the like neck thing. The that's... cutest Lovers and Friends I've ever seen. And they in, are really cute on. In the model picture, she's holding a Celine Phantom to bring her up again. I might have to start looking at those again. Those are adorable. <laughs> so oh. this, that'd be a good like teacher laptop bag. I mean, it'd be an expensive one, but <laughs> it'd be a good one. Sold for 30. I actually had this listed at like 65 or something, but... Do you remember back in the day when you could actually get 65 for some of those say, Lovers and Friends sweaters? But with Lovers and Friends, it was kind of like... I don't really want to wait this out because there is a chance that it never sells. Very true. So I will get 24 for that. Then so, so quickly, as in within five minutes, I sold this Louis Pulitzer reversible printed floral tank top. Sold for 30. I get 24. Then to Milan. Hello, Milan. Hi, Milan. She used to purchase from me back over like a year ago. In our apartment. But she popped back in out of nowhere. And she was interested in this Coach Rare Croc and Boss Swagger Carry-All bag. I remember when you got this. I paid up for this, mm -hmm. which I think you can see why. Because it's beautiful. Also, I did get this right before that lime green was popular yep. last year. So mm -hmm. I've had this for like almost two years, a probably. Minute. Sold for 125 to her and I get 100 I did have it priced at like 250 but... We love Milan. So, oh, 125 is fine with me. Then, LaRoyce popped into my closet. Hello, so, hello, LaRoyce. LaRoyce. I love she her. got a bundle, and she's actually going to pair them together, which I love because I didn't even see this until she, like, asked me about it. I will say, Miss LaRoyce bought for me a couple of weeks ago. Impeccable taste. <laughs> so, she purchased this Anthropology a pair of Saturday Sunday soft jogger pants, along with this wooden ships camo star print oh, knit sweater. Some that fun wooden fact sweaters. was actually sold at Sundance as well, which hmm. is interesting. Interesting. I didn't know. I didn't know something said that. But she put them in a bundle, and she's like, "Do you think that the green and the camo would match the pants?" And I was like, "Look at her thing." Yes, it would. Look at you, Miss LaRoyce. <laughs> Absolutely. So she got this bundle for forty-five, and I get thirty-six. So thank you very much, LaRoyce. And that is it for my week. Okay. First on the ninth is Poshmark. Anthropology Mave Red Buffalo Check Little High Low Skirt. This is actually really cute. Sold for twenty-five dollars. I make twenty, but like I could have gotten more for that. That. But I haven't hardly made me in sales. Buff Buffalo check and being in the Midwest in the winter. Oh my gosh. The cultural <laughs> grip that the red buffalo check plaid holds on just like the greater Midwest around holiday time or is actually probably really all funny. over. But like, I've just, so as you guys know, Debbie and I volunteered with like a little Santa Claus like family photo thing last Saturday. The amount of red and black buffalo check that these parents. Mm. These volunteers, oh my these God. children, the fact that I own Santa, it, Santa, <laughs> like everybody was wearing it, like it's, it's everywhere. Like not even. Just, I like, need to get my um, buffalo. Speaking of buffalo check, we have Christmas sweatshirts, and I need to yes, get mine out. We do. Oh, 
Yeah. And it's buffalo check. Side oh. tangent number 340. The Midwest and buffalo check are like fries and Coke. Yes. On Depop on the 9th, or my only on Depop on the 9th, was this vintage plus size, I think you threw this to me, 80s, beautiful black velvet floral button down. This one sold for, I think, 34, if I'm not mistaken, with free shipping, and I will make 28 38 So my gross for this week was not too bad. It definitely helped that I sold that Gucci bag. Mm -hmm. um, it was t one, two, three, one. 1,231. I love that. My gross for Poshmark this week was $194, and for Depop, it was $155.20. And my net was $984.80, which is honestly okay, I guess. My goal, basically, with Posh every week is to net, like, 1,000. So we are, like, right there. Oh, I made a mistake. I apologize. My gross for Poshmark was 194 My net for Poshmark I was 155 520. My bad. My Depop sales, 31951. This is your first like official confirmed <sighs> week to make more on Depop than Posh. And not even close. We blew her out Way of more. water. Ugh. So my grand total for everything this week was 474.71. I love Depop and I will scream it from the hilltops. Yeah. I don't know if I will ever make more on. Well, there was like one week, I think that like weirdly on, oh, on eBay. You made a There was one eBay, week where I had like eBay. three eBay mm -hmm. bougie shoe sales or else I've like always had and a only one on Posh. Anyways, that's all the sales that we have for you guys this week. We're going to go yes. get stressed. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up this week, we have on Tuesday a bolo video. We're going to yeah. do a winter bolo, and it's either going to just be like winter wear, mm -hmm. or it's probably going to be like coats, puffers, and like ski kind of wear. Yeah. And then, of course, on Wednesday, along with bolos, we always do bonus eight bolos for the Valentine's, so we will have one of those this Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is actually Debbie's uh, actual birthday. It is Debbie's. She was born on that day. Yes. So we are having like a special go up. I mean, it's not like a special, but it's going to be another family bins bash. And then at the end, I'm going to force Debbie to do another haul because it's her oh, birthday. Yeah. So she and needs she's going to be, gonna earn her keep on needs, her birthday. <laughs> she needs to be present. Then Saturday. What's the Saturday? The huge, the norm. So we will see you guys on Tuesday for a winter themed bolo. And I hope you guys have a great sales week. <sighs> Let us know if you did this past week, but I hope that the next week is a good one for I everybody. hope as we go into Christmas, people start spending their Christmas money. Yeah. Ugh. Yes. Evan, my brother, who sells, like, the toys and collectibles, has seen quite He's been spot. having a moment. We yeah. should get him on one of these. I know. We need to bring him on. Yeah, he sold, like, a... Let's bring Evan on the show. He sold a Facebook Marketplace bundle for, like, 110 yesterday. I literally don't even That's know That's crazy. Yeah. We will see you guys on Tuesday. Goodbye. Goodbye.